Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with an 8 by 10 inch canvas, a large chain, and a small edge catcher. I have some leftover paint, and I have a pair of glasses, and I got a dog under my feet! Go away, dog under my feet! <laughs> so I'm going to throw my painty tools in my bucket. Go on you! There we go, finally. I'm going to give myself a little bit of gold, and th there's not much of that coming out of there anymore, i got to say. I'm going to use a little Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula. You can get these on my Amazon link, on the link tree. At no added cost to you, you can uh, shop an entire list of goodies. That's going in the bucket. Shouldn't have stuck my hand in the water. So I've got to shovel some leftover colors in it. and. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to give myself whatever I can. That orange is not coming out. So where's my red? I guess it's a red red moment. And maybe a little bit of black. Because I don't do that very often. And what, I, what do I like with red and black? I like turquoise sometimes. So the turquoise is right there. Oh, that just gets me started. And I want to put my favorite color shifting purple flash. No idea where this is going. I just know it's going there. And I will decide what I want to do in a minute after I get my tools into the bucket. I already lost most of my purple flash going the other direction. I've got tweezers to pull out. They're painty tweezers. They need to be fixed. Ooh, that's kind of cool. All right, so let me find some colors that I don't mind wasting. Yeah, that's not even a pretty edge catcher. Let's just move these colors. That was rather large. So I can take anything that I lose onto my edge catcher back by using a spatula. But I'm liking all the shapes I've got so far. I'm thinking twice about using the chain, but you knew that was always a possibility. I think a little more gold isn't going to hurt my feelings any. Yes, I did. I stuck my finger in there. Same for the black. That's the enamel. I don't want to use that. Oh, that's an Anita's metallic. Now I know. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that can go. Just going to keep moving things back and forth until they get close to the edge. Actually, I could get a lot closer to my edge, couldn't I? Just let that cover right there. Because once I get the paint covered to, to the place that I like it, then I can cho choose basting brushes or chain or a straw. Sometimes I just like what the paint is doing already. I think that if I put some of this in here and a little more in there, that I can keep a little more of the color that I love so much. I like it when it's more of a diagonal design. A lot of times I'm not as thrilled when the designs dis decide to be sort of square with the canvas. So if I let something fall off here, then I'll have something to put back on the canvas. But until then, I'm not, not so sure that that's a happening thing. You know what I like to do? I really like to take a skewer, dip it in some freshly applied heavy paint. 
and just sort of lead a little tiny skim of it right over the edge. And there's often a lot of heavy paint in little puddles that I can utilize like that. And if I pull through the black, I'll probably get some little cells in there too. And the skewer is a great tool for just leading things here, there, and everywhere. I don't mind that pink showing up right now. I think I'm just going to keep giving myself permissions. And I love that magenta, and I never indulge myself greatly. A little bit here and a little bit there, but never, never super overindulgent. Let's see how far that skewer will take that. Pretty far. Let's use the re residual to go right over the edge. And it does too. It just about covers it perfectly. And then, because it's painted, if I decide to tip a little bit, which I'll choose to do or not do, do now, yeah, that's still making me pretty happy. So, let me think about this. What do I want down here? I kind of like the white. I was thinking a little bit of black over here wasn't going to hurt anything either. Especially since I can catch it with my skewer and use it with all of the and any of the other colors that happen to be clinging to the skewer, like that little bit of gold. And that might pop some cells. I can do the same thing with the white metallic and possibly pop some cells. And just, woo, that was pretty. No, I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> my pipe dream of adding chain is probably at an end because I'm liking what I've got a lot. question is, do I want some turquoise down there where I was dreaming about it a second ago? I love the turquoise and the magenta together. I just do. And I love seeing them mix on the edge of the canvas. And I can just sort of scrape off my skewer and get some really neat colors right on the edge up there. And they don't have to match what's above it to be perfect. I haven't torched yet. If I've got fingerfuls of paint I, and canvas where I need it, I can just use it like it is and it'll just make a more interesting pattern. So the only thing that's bothering me right now that I see, other than the fact that I had a hankering for chain and didn't use it, is this magenta right there. And I think what I want to do is give myself permission Take a little bit of black, a little bit of my color shift, go right up through there. I might chill down that neon pink a little bit too. Now, am I done? I'm, I'm pretty close. I might torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Not that I think there are probably very many of them anyway. I'm going to grab whatever paint. It needs to be grabbed on my finger to touch up so I don't have any white edges showing around the bottom of my canvas. And I don't mind if it's a contrasting color, so long as it goes with everything else, it'll be fine. It just adds interest. I love that you don't need frames most of the time on fluid art. Now, if I move those cottage cheese lids in far enough, then they won't melt when I torch. Do I want to do anything else? I kind of do lead a few more little strands and tendrils up there. And maybe over this way too. So I'm pretty happy with all that. It's, uh, it's kind of dramatic. I do love stealing paint. You know I do. Just roll it. Oh, there's cool stuff under there. Which means I could blow into that black. 
with a straw and reveal all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to restrain myself. <laughs> and somebody's going, yeah, right. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. I know you know me. So there's some really cute little cells in there. I torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint from mixing the paint with pouring medium. I also live in hope that I will have some beautiful little cells sometimes. Like now. I'm going to be careful not to cook my paint. I see a little bit of canvas, strangely enough. Come on, cover. So I really like that. That's kind of exciting looking. I don't know. It, it looks like um, some sort of tempest and some sort of really um, extreme land formation to me. I'm not sure. Maybe it's celestial. Whatever it is, it's cool. Thank you guys for joining me on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batzel. There are 86,500 or very, very close to subscribers. And thank you guys for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you want to visit me at or you're visiting me now at Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzel Art, welcome and I hope you subscribe. If you're looking for videos, I have 1,310 videos organized into created playlists on my Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batzel YouTube page. And you can look on the end screens there in the last 20 seconds and you can always find an exhibition video that may include a drawing. And it will inform you as to what might be happening with that. Um, there should be prizes shown there for whoever's name is drawn. What else should I tell you? Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support when I really needed it. And your comments are wonderful. Thank you for making my day all kinds of times. This is really different and I really like it. Um, there wasn't much of a plan. Well, there was a plan, but I destroyed that plan. <laughs> so never mind. Um, let's zoom in and see. I love you guys. I hope you come again. Look on the community board on Expressionist Start Studio Gallery Priscilla Batzel uh, YouTube channel for tomorrow's video or videos. They, uh, they're usually at midnight and uh, when there's an 11 o'clock or 11.15 one, you can check that out. Uh, make sure you have notifications turned on and uh, if you don't, you might want to press all notifications. You might still not get them, but it's worth a shot anyway. And, um, and, um, and too many andums. <laughs> And of take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And we'll get through this together. And I do sell my artwork and I will give classes again at the house in Spring Hill when the world is somewhat back to normal and restored. These cells down here with that neon are just gorgeous. So I will see you in on. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, that was fun. I hope you experiment with all of your tools and toys and colors. Bye for now. Priscilla out.